Welcome to my channel. I make videos on bags and fashion. If you have watched my other videos, you would know that I'm a big fan of the brand Saint Ralph. I love how their bags are multifunctional and the designs are really cute. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my recent purchase, including the Saint Ralph Mini Amonica bag and the Mini Doctor bag. They are new designs by Sunref and I haven't seen that many review videos on them so hopefully you find this video useful and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. If you're interested, please keep on watching and click the subscribe button for future content. Just a little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. Sunref did not pay me to film this video and I'm not in partnership with them. Like always, I'll give my honest opinion on the bags. I'll also include some mod shots as well as showing you what fits in the bag. So let's start with the Mini and Monica bag. It currently retails for 695 US dollars. I got it in pebbled leather in the color cream. It's also available in black, pale blue and chestnut. And if you prefer vegan leather, you can get this bag in the vegan version. I have filmed a detailed Sunref leather guide video and um, I talked about the features of different leather options offered by Sunref. I also performed water test and scratch test. So um, if you want to know more about their different leather options, you can check it out. This cute mini bag is the latest addition to the Amonica collection, which also includes a tote bag and a satchel version. The Monica style is one of my favorites because it has a feminine and elegant touch to it. I love how the bow detail is not too extravagant and it's just the perfect touch to this bag. I would describe the Mini Monica as a structured mini bag. It looks elegant and sophisticated. I don't own any mini bags in cream color at the moment, so this is perfect for me. I'll put the dimensions of this bag on the screen. Um, the size is perfect for a night out and I love how sturdy it is. It's also pretty lightweight and it wouldn't dig into your shoulder. So far, I find it pretty comfortable wearing this bag. As you can see, there are some belt loops so you can attach the Monica belt to wear it as a belt bag or you can purchase the Sunref beveled chain or the statement strap. I didn't get any extra straps or chains because I think the chain that comes with this bag is perfect. It elevates the look of the bag and it makes it more girly and dainty. This bag also features metal feet to protect the base, so um, you don't have to worry about ruining the cream color or having scuffs around the corners. In terms of styling, I love pairing this bag with bodycon dresses. It also looks great with over the knee boots and neutral colors in general. My favorite way to wear this bag is to wear it as a shoulder bag and one thing I notice is um, this chain is slightly short. I'm about 5'2 and when I wear this as a crossbody bag, I feel like the chain is a bit too short on me. So if you're taller, then it might be a bit awkward if you want to wear it as a crossbody. So if you want to wear it as a crossbody bag, I would suggest getting another chain strap or um, having a leather strap that is adjustable. This bag features a zip closure, so it's really easy to get in and out of the bag. There's also a hidden back pocket behind the front ribbon, so you can fit your phone in it. And for the interior, there are some card slots and slip pocket, so um, you can keep your things organized. So now let me show you what fits in this bag. As a mini bag, I think it can fit a decent amount. It can fit most of my daily essentials, including my iPhone 8 Plus, AirPods, um, some makeup items, my keys, and um, if you squeeze in a bit, you can also fit a long wallet or your sunglasses. As the pebbled leather is pretty structured and sturdy, even if the bag is jam-packed, um, the things wouldn't stick out and um, you don't have to worry about distorting the shape of this bag. It obviously cannot fit a water bottle or an umbrella, but for a mini bag, I think it fits more than I expected and I'm really impressed. Let's talk about some pros and cons of the Mini Monica bag. For pros, I love the style and the bow detail is just really adorable. And I also love the zip closure for extra security and sometimes magnetic snap closure is kind of hard to work with, so um, I prefer a zip closure. And it's really important for a bag to be able to fit my iPhone 8 Plus and my makeup items. Um, some 
mini bags are too narrow at the bottom, it can't fit my phone and it's just inconvenient. Just like other sunroof bags, the Mini Monica is really durable and I don't have to baby it at all when I use it. It's in a light color so I was a bit hesitant to wear this with dark wash denim but um, I've tried it once and so far I can't see any color transfer and um, the pebbled leather is just really durable. For cons, um, it's a pretty expensive bag if I'm being honest. If you want to get the belt to go with this bag and wear it as a belt bag, you have to spend even more. And um, the belt is a bit too thick for my liking, so if you ask me, I might as well just go for the Aria belt bag instead because it's more affordable and it comes with the leather strap. And like I said, the chain strap is a bit too short, even for someone petite like me, I'm like 5'2", so if you're a taller person, you have to get extra chain straps or leather straps for this bag, which makes you spend more. For 695 US dollars, I would expect it to come with a leather strap as well. Um, there are a lot of add-ons, so if you want to get the beveled chain, um, the belt, and other chain straps, it would cost more, and um, I just personally think it's a bit expensive. Overall, it's a really lovely mini bag and definitely a great addition to my collection. It also looks really great when I take Instagram pictures with this bag. Now let's move on to the mini doctor bag. The doctor bag is definitely one of their best sellers. It has been around for years, but the original doctor bag is pretty big and bulky, so I was never drawn to it. They recently launched the mini version of it and it's just the best decision Sunref ever made. I absolutely love the size and the shape of the mini doctor bag. It's effortlessly chic and also practical. It currently retails for 775 US dollars and I'll put the dimensions on the screen. I got this bag in Dolce leather in the color buff, which is like a warm oatmeal color. I think it goes really well with workwear and fall outfits, which are mostly warm tone and brown colors. It's available in five colors at the moment. The butterscotch is gorgeous as well. I would say it's a darker beige color when comparing to the color buff. It has a removable and adjustable crossbody strap. It also has top handles, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, crossbody, or a top handle bag. Like many other classic Sunref styles, the mini doctor bag also includes a flap with a magnetic closure, and it also has a zipper closure. I love how the two-way full zipper closure goes all the way down, so you can open the bag pretty wide and grab the things you need and um, zipper closure definitely um, gives you extra security. It has two exterior compartments, so you can put your phone or your travel cards in it, and um, when you open the bag, it has a really big main compartment with three interior compartments, um, so there's a slip pocket, a zip pocket, and some card slots. You can keep your things organized. This bag has a pretty wide bottom, so it fits a ton. It kind of reminds me of a school bag or a bucket bag. I just throw everything in it and you're good to go. So now let me show you what fits in this bag. I would say the capacity of this bag is pretty similar to a mini master bag. It would be a perfect work bag or a day bag if you want to carry more with you. It can fit my iPhone 8 Plus, my sunglasses, AirPods, um, card case, long wallet, and can also fit my water bottle and umbrella, so it's really convenient and um, I can just put everything in it. I've been reaching for this bag a lot recently. Um, I love how it goes with a lot of outfits, like neutral colors, dresses, workwear, and also casual outfits like t-shirts and jeans. And um, for pros, I love the leather. The Dolce leather is just soft and luxurious. And as I said, it fits a ton, so it's really easy to work with. And um, it's actually pretty lightweight as well. Even when I put my water bottle and um, some electronic gadgets in it, it's still pretty lightweight when comparing to their Maestro bag. The major con for this bag, I would say, um, it doesn't look very good with a shoulder strap on. I'm not sure if it's because of my frame or the placement of the strap. 
The bag looks a bit bulky when I carry it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag, so I um, actually just remove the shoulder strap and use it as a top handle bag. Um, but if you're looking for a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag, the Mini Maestro bag might fit you better. Overall, it's a really practical bag and it goes with a lot of outfits. It's very free and it's just a great bag for many different occasions. The style itself is pretty simple, it doesn't have a lot of details to it, um, but I love how classic and timeless it is. So this is pretty much it for my honest review on the Sunref Mini Amonica and Mini Doctor bag. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!